Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the custom ROM Optimus Nexus Me version 5 developed by Yash98 from XZ Developers Forums. Now this ROM is based on Synergy Mode 7, so the, so the installation procedure of this will not be as the usual ones which you see in almost every custom ROM. For this you would need first to flash uh, the custom kernel that supports booting Synergy Mode 7, then we need to format and then we need to install the custom ROM. Actually, it's quite easy, but still, I thought I just warned you. And in case you want to go back, restoring an Android backup may not work after while you're in this custom ROM. You might need to flash Odin and you can then restore an Android backup if you have made one, of course. Okay, so let's begin. So, the first step, as usual, is to download the zip file to your SD card. So, download the ROM zip file and download the kernel zip file to your SD card. You also need Coco Mode Recovery for this, so in case you don't have it, download it. Once you have downloaded all of the needed files, begin by powering off your phone. Power it off. Now wait for the small vibration. Once it does that, it means that it's completely powered off. You then hold the home button, the power and the volume up. Okay, the phone is off. Now hold these three buttons. You should be in recovery mode. If you already have Coco Mode Recovery, then don't worry, just go further and skip this step. If you don't, then follow these instructions. Now, once you're here in recovery mode, select the second option, Apply Update from SD Card. Now, flash the CWM zip file. You should be in Coco Mode Recovery. Now, just in case, go to Mounts and Storage and Mount Data and make sure that system is mounted as well. Go back. And now from here choose install zip from SD card, then select choose zip from SD card. Now from here locate the kernel zip file, it should be Percy G2 kernel, here it is. Choose that and choose yes to install. And it is done. After you have watched the kernel, go back to the main menu, head into advanced and choose reboot recovery. And this time it will take you to a kind of different Coco Mode Recovery. You can notice that by the font size. There we go, as you can see the letters are quite small. So I may have to zoom in a bit to show you the letters a bit better. Okay, now you see these error messages here but ignore them, do not worry about that. Now simply head into install, sorry, I meant mounts and storage. And from here you will need to format data. Then choose yes. Then choose format system. Choose yes again to confirm. And finally choose format cache. Do not format your SD card, obviously, because you delete all of your SD card contents. Just leave it like that. Now, once these things are formatted, you can finally mount them. Choose Mount Data, choose Mount System, and choose Mount Cache. As you can see, that worked fine. Now, go back to the main menu, and from here, you can follow on the same old procedure. Choose Install Zip from SD Card, then select Choose Zip from SD Card. And now locate the ROM zip file. It should be called Nexus Fit version 0.1 CM7 Young. Choose this. Once again, choose yes to confirm. And now the installation will begin. So just be patient, wait a minute or two, and it will be done. And it is done. As you can see, it says install from SD card complete. Now simply press the back button and choose the first option reboot system now. So as usual, this is the first boot after flashing a ROM. It may take time, so just be patient. I'm gonna fast forward the video and I'm gonna slow it down for you to see just the boot animation that I'm gonna speed up again. So just so you know, this is not in real time, the video has been speed up and I'll be back once we are in the setup wizard.
and quite a surprise as you can see we directly landed into the launcher no setup screen nothing of the sort okay so the first thing which we see is holo launcher so this rom comes with holo launcher and let's have a look at what wallpapers we get so this is the default wallpaper there is one press here into wallpapers so here we have live wallpaper, nexus wallpapers and quick pick wallpaper unfortunately the third one seems to close immediately when I open it I'm not sure why anyways let's head into nexus wallpapers so this is the wallpapers which we get this one is actually my favorite to look so I'm just gonna choose this one so let's take a look at the notification screen so let's scroll down so as you can see here nothing here except for notifications if you want to see the toggles and everything else simply tap on here and as you can see at the top we have the Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS and the sound profiles toggles you've got a shortcut to settings here recents Bluetooth Wi-Fi sync sound networks from switching from 2G to 3G display settings if you scroll down you can see your battery percentage and you've also got a brightness slider which is working as you can see so as for how this is themed I'm speaking about the dialer the contacts and everything else it basically has the ice cream sandwich jelly bean look and feel let's have a look at the dialer this is the dialer then we've got the car walks section the contacts so you might need to import your contacts I'm just gonna do a test here import export then import from the same card. I actually store my contacts in the same card. So I'm just gonna see if it will read them. Okay it did so yeah. I can just choose import out and it will import out of my contacts. So let us also take a look at the power menu. So we have the airplane mode toggle, the profile, because it night, home, silent, work, default let's have a look at the other things we have a shortcut to take a screenshot here a reboot option and a power off option now if you go to reboot you can see how it offers you to reboot normally reboot into recovery or reboot into download mode and before we go further there is one more thing I forgot to show you and that is the walker so this is what we get from here you can toggle it to vibration mode and to sound mode and here you unwalk and let's not forget the look of the task manager so as you can see these are your recently opened apps so in case you want to access them from here you can quickly just tap on the app and it will open it up so let's take a look at what you get in the app drawer so here you basically have the basic android apps such as the calculator, the calendar, the camera the browser even though it's renamed as chrome it is still the default android browser then you've got the clock where the alarm is stored and so on contact shortcut dev tools downloads dsp manager file manager this is the oi file manager fm radio gallery messaging music the dialer the play store google search settings sim toolkit sound recorder spare parts terminal emulator and videos and there is just one thing i want to point out and that is that this ram comes rooted even though you don't see a super user app here in the drawer it is rooted if you download the root checker app and tap on verify it will ask for root permission you allow it and it will then tell you that this device has root access there is also another thing that I would like to point out and I personally dislike and that is the tiny keyboard that it comes with so as you can see it's really small and it's it may be comfortable for people with tiny fingers but to me at least it's a pain writing with these small letters here with these small keys so let's take a look at the camera as well so this is the camera app it is not the stock camera the one which you see in most stock Samsung ROMs so as you can see this is the camera it is working and uh, so let's start off with the things on the interface here on the screen so first off we've got capture mode so you can make it with a timer immediate and you can also change the exposure from here then you've also got the scene modes located in here the picture size, the picture quality, the color effects the flicker reduction and camera settings next you've got the store location I believe this is to set um, the location the, judging by the GPS if you have it on so for safety this feature is turned by default off if you want you can turn it on 
then we've got white balance so you can change to auto incandescent daylight fluorescent cloudy daylight and so on and here you've got the zooming unfortunately zooming in and out does not work with the volume keys so you would need to manually zoom from here as you can see it is zooming in and out and here is a quick toggle to switch from photo to video mode and also as you can see in here on this little box this is where your recent picture will appear so at any time you can access it but unfortunately here the gallery app seems to be force closing for some reason so yeah this is the camera app so let us quickly dive in into the settings this is what we get in the wireless networks we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile networks separated then we've got interface, launcher, walk screen, teams there is just one team then system and the basic options here call settings and so on profiles then you've got super user here so as you can see the app is actually hidden from the launcher but as you can see it is integrated in the ROM so you can access it from here in case you want to update the binaries and so on you've also got the developer options appearing here on the main setting screen then we've got performance so you can change here the CPU setting, use JIT, you can enable this so these are actually uh, somewhat for advanced users so I would highly recommend that you don't mess around with these because you may uh, break something on your phone and we've got about phone so we've got the logo here at the top and there is here and down let's see what we've got here so the reason why I didn't show you these options here is because you are all familiar with them basically they are the settings to change the interface to change the widgets uh, the status bar and stuff such as that you can also see this in the drawer you've got the spare parts so you can change things from here so yeah this has a lot of options inside it I suggest you export them yourself I cannot really go into detail about each thing because this video will become quite large so yeah you also got dev tools here this is to test things not really that useful if you are just using this ROM for daily use and no development tasks so that's about it this was a quick installation in preview video of the Optimus Nexus Me version 5 custom ROM for Samsung Galaxy Y as you can see it has been given the Nexus 4 look it is based off Synergy mode like I said and uh, personally I really don't think that these graphics look that decent because only only because or Galaxy Y has low pixel density and the graphics just don't seem to look that nice you know the dark the dark pixels and everything else it just looks kind of booty and pixelated still the ROM feels very smooth when you use it everything is working fine for now except the gallery app for some reason it's force closing you can just try to replace the APK with another or check the permissions using a file exporter and yeah that's about it Wi-Fi is working the toggles are working everything else is fine you can check out the rest of the features for yourself if you like this ROM you can visit the link in the video description to fire down links for all of these things which you just used here so yeah that is all everyone thank you for watching once again and I'll see you next time goodbye